Indian Chieftain Elite Best Adventure Motorcycle Long Distance Touring. In years past, I've had the opportunity to write and review several Polaris Incorporated products, resulting in published articles about both Victory and Indian motorcycles. Having something of a track record with Polaris, I again approached Indian Motorcycles in the spring of 2020 about a bike loan for touring and test articles. After some discussion, Polaris offered a top-of-the-line Chieftain Elite that would be available in July. I was happily surprised and immediately agreed. Having planned a New England tour for the summer, I approached Indian with the idea of combining the tour and the motorcycle loan, and again Indian cooperated magnificently by agreeing to deliver the bike to New Hampshire. I would also ride the motorcycle back to my home in southwest Florida, giving me the opportunity to evaluate the bike on a long-distance route through the center of the Appalachian Mountains, with stops for riding days in North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. With all the pieces in place, I flew to New Hampshire on July 11 and picked up the 2020 Chieftain Elite at Mom's Indian dealership in Manchester, New Hampshire, with 2,211 miles on the odometer. Initial Impressions, Styling, Fit, and Finish any way you look at the Chieftain Elite, it is a rolling work of art, a muscular machine with smooth flowing lines and everything in proper proportion with nothing appearing added on or out of place. It turns a lot of heads. The Chieftain's overall length is 98.7 inches, with a 65.7 inch wheelbase, making it slightly more compact than others in its class. The 10-spoke cast wheels and abbreviated fenders, as opposed to Indian signature balanced fenders, contribute to a lighter, more nimble look that belies the Chieftain's size. That impression contrasts with the massive 116 CI engine, incorporating lots of chrome and artful detail work, with color-matching red anodized pushrod tubes on the engine right side that sets the bike off. The Chieftain has a visually balanced look with a chrome exhaust pipe under each saddlebag and the Indian front fender ornament and company logo featured everywhere on the bike. Color is limited to what Indian calls its thunder black and vivid crystal red two-tone color scheme, a hand-painted metal flake black and deep cranberry red, and fit and finish are generally first-rate. At $34,999, the bike has a hefty price tag, making ownership something of an exclusive club. A premium motorcycle, the Chieftain Elite standard equipment includes the to-be-expected anti-lock brakes and cruise control, a powered windshield adjustable over 4 inches, and self-canceling turn signals, excellent. The bike uses a key fob and a dashboard push button for main power, and engine start switch on the throttle control pod. The fob also has push buttons to lock and unlock the 22-pound capacity saddlebags, with an additional lock switch on the fuel tank, and the bike is disabled when the fob is more than 8 feet away. The rider's seat was firm, but all day comfortable with good lower back support due to the rise to the passenger perch at the back of the seat. It never felt uncomfortable either on interstates or backroad twisties over many long riding days in two weeks. This haul included one 11-hour interstate ride from Georgia to my home in Florida. I experienced zero discomforts while riding or muscle soreness the next day. The large saddlebags held everything from a bike cover and rain gear to a laptop computer, a DSLR camera and lenses, a pair of sneakers, and other assorted items. The saddlebags are of sufficient size for several days of travel. The fuel tank holds 5.5 gallons, giving the bike a long 250 mile plus range on a tank full, and I averaged a respectable 41.18 miles per gallon on the ride from New Hampshire to Florida. This included interstate riding and a four-day loop ride due west into the beautiful Appalachian Mountain roads of western North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. All of this contributes very favorably to long-distance touring.